Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hello friends and how are you doing? It is time to look at some cool stuff. Let's get started. As you see, we are now on Black Forest Lab homepage. Here we find a suite of models to add control to Flux model. What I want to talk about in this video is mainly focused on Flux Redux. This is something we were looking for a good IP adapter. And also doing input image. It hands off, doesn't need any additional text prompt. And we are able to create something with the AI models. That restyles our image by styles transfer of our reference image. Like what we used to do in IP adapter. And this is a very handy tool. Like AI model in Flux, enabling us to do image style transfer. When you scroll, you can see some examples. And down, you find the model links that we need. Click on it. You are now on Black Forest Lab Hugging Face Repository, and you have to agree to access the repository. You can click to the files where you see Flux 1 Redux Dev Safe tensors to download it. That can take a time, it's a big file. Let's now go to Comfy UI examples for Flux workflow. Then scroll down until you find Redux. And as you can see, we need another file in a clip vision model. You can download it here, or you can search for models manager in the Comfy UI manager interface. The second file is the Redux model that we already download. And here, you can find the path where you have to put each file. And here you have the model of Redux workflow. And when it's done, all you have to do is to drag and drop the image in your comfy UI to load the workflow. And here we go. What we have is a normal Flux workflow, but the difference is here where you found the Redux nodes with the image reference input. And because it's take a time for the first queue prompt loading, I make mine workflow with some adjustment. And this is the result. It's pretty good, but no prompt impact on the image. That's why I am talking about. You can make this happen with the Advanced Redux node. Let's see how to do this. Redux Advanced is you might have guessed it a new node for Comf UI you really need to have if you want to do the cool stuff in this time. This is very easy to use. What you want to do first of all, is to copy up here this URL on that GitHub page. Or you can copy the code here. It's the same. Then, we're going to head over to our Comfy UI folder. In there, into the Comfy UI folder again. And in there, into the custom node folder up. In the address bar, type CMD and hit enter. Then, you want to write git clone and put the web address right behind that. Hit enter. Let it finish. Just takes a second and then restart Comfy UI. You can make sure that you have now an advanced reflux control folder in Comfy UI node folder. Let's now see if the prompt conditioning work or not. I put one girl with red hair to add some color to my image reference. It's great. And it's a very beautiful girl. To use Redux Flux Advanced node, all you have to do is to change the APLLY style model node to style model apply simple node. You find it in conditioning node. All other connection is the same. 
Let's take a look at the parameters that I use. I'll take you with the music background. Now, I will add some nodes to see the difference between simple Redux node and the advanced one. You have to duplicate VA, simple custom node and basic guider. You can pause the video and connect the nodes like I do. And that's it. Let's now see what the effect if you combine multiple style. For that, all you have to do is to connect the apply style model nodes. And you can also do that with the advanced one. This is the result of some examples. I try to change the images to see clearly what we have. And we have a good result. You can pause the video to see how nodes are connected. You can see the differences between the simple and advanced node. The image in the top is also conditioning by the prop. The image in the bottom work like a transfer style with the reference image. The prop is useless. As you can see, this is the result after Q prop. And it's pretty good. You can do a lot of thing with this method. Let's try by adding some word in the prompt like glasses. I love to play with this new node. You can do so many things with style and combining images and much, much more. And when you see the result, you can say that Redux Advanced is really good. So, I hope you find this video useful. I will use some of this method in the next video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Redux can reproduce the image with slight variation, allowing to refine a given image. It naturally integrates into more complex workflows, unlocking image restyling. Restyling via text is normally available through API by providing an image plus a language prompt. With advanced node, you have it now. Enjoy it. Leave a like. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, keep in touch.